You see? So if you can understand that you do have enemies who they don't all look the same. These are many nations. Now, I mean, you can get with that. The fact that, I mean, just recognizing your enemies, we can unify. Hebrew brothers are out here telling you that the carbon dating that the devil is using ain't right. Now, you cannot be talking about back to Africa. You can't be talking, don't talk about none of that in the Bible as white man if you're going to be using this white man science. You can't do it. Now, I know, I understand that most of these people out here just ain't real with it. Plain and simple. They agents and they following agents. They brain dead and they ain't going to get it. But talking about for those of you who are um, black nationalists, Afrocentric, who know what the business is. You see what I'm saying? These motherfuckers, Af these Africans, they ain't your people, man. Plain and simple. They ain't your people. The devil know they ain't your people. They know they ain't your people. Only motherfuckers that don't know is you. What we're saying is recognize all of your enemies. You cannot, I repeat, you cannot get any type of liberation if you do not recognize who your enemy is. And for those of you who are out there plotting and planning and training with militia groups and shit, don't put the shit on motherfucking YouTube so that the devil can see what you're doing. He trained like that all the time. And he got more numbers, more training, because he do it for a living. He got more numbers and more high-tech weapons. He'll just blow this whole motherfucker up. And that shit won't mean a motherfucking thing. He bring, if he brings some robots on your ass, especially those of you who talking about you don't care nothing about no Bible and shit. You gonna, you trust the, how you going to get on some carnal mind and shit like that and think you finna beat the master of carnal or carnality? That's crazy. You playing yourself. So if you don't deal with the most high... You're not in tune with the most high. You don't want to hear about no spirituality or nothing like that. Then what I suggest you do in terms of some survival or liberation, you get the fuck up. Do like uh, your boy Sarah Susan said he said and just get the fuck up out of here. Like he said he was going to do. You just get the fuck up out of here. Because what you what y'all niggas talking about ain't going to work. And speaking of getting the fuck up out of here, them gathering the Christ niggas, they said, as I said before, Last April, them motherfucker told his sister in Atlanta that they was planning on leaving within the next 11 months. Here it is. That would be what? You now about five months late for that shit? If them niggas don't hurry up like I told Breakdance. If them niggas don't, he said he think the same thing going to happen. If them niggas don't hurry up and leave, the shit that they trying to run from going to fuck around and pop off. And um and um airport, um airport gonna be locked down. They ain't gonna be able to leave. But where they going? They trying to go to Israel. They trying to go. Uh, you got niggas trying to go to Africa when the beast done locked down Africa, and now he got bases all over Africa. You got niggas trying to go to Israel. Who run Israel? The so-called Jew, the imposter Jews. The same motherfucker that's running this whole campaign now. To get ready to lock your ass down, you trying to go to their center of power. Are you damn fools? You got to be out your motherfucking... Y'all niggas, y'all never cease to amaze me with your utter in, and absolute insanity, nigga. The fuck wrong with you? You think you're going to be safer in Tel Aviv? Or you going to hide out in the woods or some shit? Them motherfuckers gonna bomb the shit out your head. It's gonna be genocide like a motherfucker. But with that, um, I'll talk to y'all a little later about some more shit. But, and I'm, let me say this. Niggas, 
that I've been talking to previously, it's over for y'all. That's real. I don't I don't challenge you nigga and ask you questions you couldn't. You couldn't come up with nothing. Y'all start saying some crazy shit. Y'all soldier one. I saw what he had a rebuttal to my to my response to the answers. And I'm like, nigga, the first video he made didn't even disagree with what the fuck I was saying. Yeah, the nigga gonna make another video? It is pointless to even watch that shit, you know? So with that, I'm gonna get on some shit that maybe make a little more sense and not deal with you niggas too much anymore. And uh, get back to the brothers and sisters that really just in it that know what the fuck going on and everything like that. So with that, it's your brother, Kali Kelly Yah. Shalom.